Now, for more discussion on this issue, we're now joined in the studio by my colleague Li Kefu. Kefu, tell us about the latest situation for people living with HIV and AIDS here in China. What's the number of cases? Hello there, Mao Mao. Well, as the most populous nation in the world, China is not yet near what many people would consider a widespread AIDS epidemic. But the infection rate has been rising sharply. According to the report on the situation of HIV/AIDS in China, which was jointly produced by China's Ministry of Health, the UN, and WHO, the actual number of people living with HIV/AIDS in China was estimated to be around 780,000 by the end of 2011. The total infection rate of this country stands at 0.058 percent. In addition, a total of 28,000 people died of HIV/AIDS in China last year. And another 48,000 in the country were found newly infected by the virus. The HIV/AIDS situation is showing some new trends, though, as sexually transmitted cases continue to increase. Mama, we are seeing this new trend, and we are seeing the number increase. What kind of efforts have the government in China put into battling AIDS? Well, in February 2012, China issues its AIDS action plan for the 12 five-year program period. It will further strengthen AIDS public education, testing, treatment, and prevention, especially on the mother-to-child transmission of HIV. A report shows that more than 136,000 AIDS patients had received antivirus treatment as of September 2011. The treatment coverage rate is now 73.5%. That's almost an、uh, that's an increase of almost 12 percent compared to two years ago. However, battling HIV/AIDS does not only stand as a challenge for the government; it also requires joint efforts from the society. There is a movement by the Ministry of Health that brought widespread debates recently, particularly in the LGBT community. Lesbians will now be able to donate blood again for the first time in 14 years, but the ban on gay men donating continues.